out at the table, brother. All right. Let's get this done. Sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. Quinn showed us some red woody rough cuts. Business is good. Beats cranking a wrench, huh? It has its moments. <laughs> I know you've talked. You have your recommendation. Before you deliver it, I'd like to say something. Of course. I was wrong. We found out from Len it wasn't Jerry who told the Chinese about the guns. It was Borowski. How did he know where the guns were? He runs the port. And Borowski had so much to lose by betraying us, it didn't make sense. I guess he saw the writing on the wall with the Mayans. Looking to cash out before he gets pushed out. Then how could Jerry have confessed to you if he didn't do it? Because I lied. Shit. I was so bent around this idea of revenge. Jerry was just one more thing that got in my way. You guys are still claiming self-defense? Yeah, he reached for his gun. Maybe he was going to kill me, maybe not. I never gave him a chance to decide. I love Jerry. And I killed him. You know this means of mayhem, both. I know the pain you're in because of terror. And we all understand your need for vengeance. Maybe that fueled this mistake. But what you're saying here is out and out murder, brother. Yeah. <sighs> Mayhem has to land. I know. As your charter, you know how much they love you. Your lineage to JT. Sam Crow needs to know if this vote goes the wrong way. President killing the president. Sends a dangerous message. I'll make sure they vote the right way. Protect the organization. But I'm going to need something in return. There's an unwritten bylaw been around since my old man held this gavel. I want Sam Crow to throw it out. What's the best case scenario? Best case? They come around to self-defense with compensate Indian Hills. And worst case? Stop asking questions. 